sponsored by Winwing Technologies. They couldn't offer the full cockpit, but we think this is the next best thing. Hello Valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today we've got a really big fight. I got an email from a very nice chap from a USAF airbase, trying to get the words right, in Okinawa, which is this island here. The name of the base is Kadena Air Base. And he asks, what would happen if a massive Chinese air assault attacked Okinawa and the base? Could they survive? So I guess we're going to go and try it. Before we continue, very quickly, we've been having a lot of troubles with the YouTube lately. It would be really appreciated if you subscribe to the channel, which I'm going to do now, ping. You click on the bell here, you change it from personalized, which is the default, to all. That will hopefully bypass most of the problems we're having with the new algorithm. Thank you very much. So this is our setup. There's China mainland, South Korea, Japan mainland, Japanese island chain and there is Okinawa there. There's a close-up and there's Kadena there and there's Taiwan. In my completely, by the way, fictional, just for fun, attack, a massive Chinese wave is coming from due west here to attack Okinawa. Here are some rough distances. Okinawa is about 400 miles from China mainland, about 370 miles to Japanese mainland. So the first thing I like to do is do some basic research to find out what resources the US have on and around Okinawa. Of all the services, they've got one full-time base that includes fighters, and we're only interested in fighters today. That's Kadena on Okinawa, so that's what's going to be defending. There are other US bases on the mainland, various points of the mainland, USAF, US Navy and Marines, but they are at least 370 miles away, and that's going to play into what we're doing today, so bear that in mind. Stationed at Kadena are the 44th and the 67th USAF F-15C-D Eagle Squadrons, consisting 54 F-15s, 44 of which are supposed to be scramble ready at 45 minutes notice. None of this is classified, by the way. This is all just came off wiki and whatnot. However, here's something that's interesting. When I was doing my research and checking out the different bases and what was stationed there and whatnot, when I looked at Kadena, at whichever point this photograph was taken, yes, all the F-15s are there at Kadena, but look what we've got here. For the naked eye to see, eight F-35s, no idea which, but I'm gonna assume that they are F-35As for today. Officially, none of these are stationed at the base according to the website, but if you read various news documents from the war zone and whatnot, they are doing training for F-35s here. So I thought as well as the two squadrons of F-15s defending Kadena, why don't we also throw in the eight F-35s? In reality, they probably wouldn't be scramble ready in time this mission, but just for the lols, I wanna chuck in these F 35As. So here is our simulation or analog for the area. Here is mainland China. Here is Taiwan. Here is Okinawa. Japan mainland is up to the northeast. Obviously, we don't have the actual map, so we're having to do a little bit of fakery. You know, this is just in a sea here. And for the land, we've got a bit of Guam. These red icons here are the massive Chinese attack. These blue icons here are the defense. Attacking today, as a summary, are 62 Chinese aircraft, including bombers. Defending from the island of Okinawa, 52 US aircraft. First, let's look at defense. So, this is Guam, turned into today, Okinawa. That is the actual size of Okinawa. Here is Kadena Air Force Base, roughly in the right place. Stationed here are the 44 scramble-ready F-15Cs. They are played by AI today. Set at max skill level. Everything today is set at max skill level. They're armed with the best we can do. Six AMRAM Charlie Fives, two bags, and two legacy sidewinders. In reality, they will probably have AIM 120Ds, the long range version of the AMRAM, but it stopped working in game, so we can't use it. To make it fair, I've made sure to also remove any long range air to air missiles from the Chinese inventory. So in terms of air to air missiles today, this is medium range v medium range. Unfortunately, at this base here, there are not enough slots. So I've had to spread some to this base here. This base isn't actually here in Okinawa in real life. So we're just pretending it kind of doesn't exist. And they're just gonna be taken off from there as a method of getting them airborne roughly fairly. They are tasked with nothing more other than scrambling as quickly as they can and fanning out to defend from the suspected attack, which will obviously be from the West. Next, my super cool visiting F-35As. 
There are eight of them driven by client. Today, my humans are Scott, Simba, Bird, Cam, Fire, Silver, Strider. Say hello, boys. Hello. Hello, hello boys. Simba. They are stealth configuration and they can only carry four AMRAMs. So four medium range AMRAMs in the bays. Do not worry about these pylons. They will not be there in the game. And they are set to a very low radar cross section. So they will only be detected at less than 10 nautical miles. Now, humans, you can obviously do whatever you want because you're humans and you have your own mind and your own ambitions. But beware, we're trying to do this one to one. So if you die in your F-35, you may not respawn in your F-35 because that's that airframe used up. So once you've used your one life up in F-35, you then have to start all the way 450 miles up here in Japan, which is a long way away. And you're going to be the QRA from Japan. And you can have infinite respawning F-16s from there, which are these guys here, obviously, in the Japanese loadout. But you're not going to have much effect, obviously, because you are literally starting from mainland Japan. Most of the fighting will probably be done by then. But I want to make it as realistic as we can with the resources that we have. Next, AWACS. Kadena does have AWAC stationed there, E3 sentries. One is already up and orbiting. In terms of the detection, this is very important, guys, to listen. It can detect a bomber about 400 miles away. It can detect a fighter at just over 300 miles away. That is all going to be modeled today in the simulator. The map options I've set to fog of war. So you can see on your map, your SA screens, whatever the AWAC sees, including our GCI. The same will be true with the Reds as well. The Reds are all driven by computer today, but they've got AWACS and they will only be able to see what that AWACS passes to them. They have, I believe, in real life, two more AWACSs at Kadena. So I've just chucked them down here and they will take off because I bet the Chinese are going to try and shoot their AWACS down. So two more AWACSs will scramble. Would they in real life? No idea. Finally, surface to air air defense. According to a white paper that I downloaded, ping, ba 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 ba, back in 2016. One air defense Patriot battalion was stationed at Okinawa, consisting of four batteries. Pack three, we've got pack two, but it shouldn't make much difference in what we're doing today. So four batteries, one here, one here, one here, and uh, uh, one there. They're set up as a medium size because I've got no idea of the actual size of battery. They have a range of about 70 nautical miles. So to reiterate, Okinawa has today eight F-35As, 44 F-15Cs, three E-3Cs, four batteries of Pack 2 Patriot, and infinite respawning for all we care about F-16s from Japan. That's the blues. Now, the Chinese. So when I designed this Chinese attack, I thought, okay, let's take no prisoners. Let's just basically erase the island. It's a massive attack spread over 350 miles. Just think how big 350 miles is. It's bigger than my, my entire country. Uh, it's time on target. So everything is pre-planned to come in at the same time to overwhelm the defenses. The absolute spear of the attack. Well, not literally. It won't be at the front, but the attack is all based around this. Eight H6J bombers, uh, you might know them as badges, I think they were called. Each is carrying six KD-20 long-range cruise missiles. 48 missiles should be coming off the rails pretty much time on target at 300 nautical miles away, or thereabouts, maybe 350. All of those are going to come and smash down on various bits of Kadena's runways and taxiways. Nearly 50 missiles pretty much within a few seconds landing at Kadena. The rest is pretty much all there to defend those bombers. So first, the older stuff and the most expendable, I guess you would say, five flights, four, so 20 J-10As, actually they're Cs, carrying the following. Six SD-10s, these are the equivalent of an AIM-120C AMRAAM, and two PL-10s, these are the equivalent of an AIM-9X. On the northern side are 20, again, five four ships of slightly more modern, J-11 Bravos. These are carrying four PL-12s, which is just another name for SD-10, and two older PL-8Bs. Why are they not filling up all pylons? Because if they do that, there's so much drag, they don't actually have enough fuel to complete this mission. And that's one thing we're looking at today, is the massive uh, realistic battle area. Hundreds and hundreds of miles. So fuel is a real thing to think about. I spent ages trying to get the AI so that they can do this mission without turning around, and I think I've just about got it. Next, once the J-10s and the J-11Bs have subdued the two squadrons of F-15s, then these guys are coming in to follow up with the cruise missiles. Eight J-16 Deltas, much more modern. These are specialist SEAD platforms and are carrying six 
LD10. It's the equivalent of the American AGM-88C Harm, I think you would call it. Also a couple of self-defense missiles and self-protection jammers. So they will be coming in behind and trying to mop up the Patriot sites or do as much damage to the Patriot sites as they can. Next, AWACS. Two KJ-2000s. These are very expensive assets. One to the north, one to the south. Because these areas are so big, they've decided to use two AWACSs to cover, make sure they get coverage of the area. As you all know, information is ammunition, and these guys are going to have more information if they keep more AWACSs in the sky. Finally, the jewel in the Chinese Air Force. We've got two flights of two, so a total of four J-20A. One from the north, one from the south. That's all you're going to know about it. They are stealth, fifth gen, with a radar cross-section of 0.001 meter squared it's slightly bigger radar cross section than f-35 but for all intents and purposes it's just as stealthy in the game they've got six pl-12s sd-10s and a couple of hobs they are going to be your fiercest opponent today that is the chinese attack they will be able to share sensors in terms of the airbags and whatnot and to be honest it's going to be a massive nightmare especially because okinawa can only basically take off one jet at a time whereas china Everything was coming at once. They would have spent months organizing this and getting everything in position to get the perfect attack. Oh, that's it, guys. Sorry that took so long, but, you know, it's a massive attack. Predictions? I'll do mine first because I built this. And I can tell you right now, USAF or Okinawa has absolutely no chance. There is nothing you can do to defend against this. Other predictions from my boys? Yeah, we're toast. I don't think there's any way we can get enough aircraft and missiles in the air to stop. Yeah, element of surprise sucks. I wish we had F-22s. I, I looked, guys. I looked. I scouted every runway and tried to find any site of an F-22 on Google Map. And they're not there. They're just not there. They're all in America. And they're just not here, guys. Probably takes forever coming from Guam. They're not even at Guam anymore. I double checked. By the way, Simba no. is very drunk. How, how drunk are you, Simba? Uh, Not relevant. I can still fly. Apparently, he can still fly. Insert joke here. Uh... Right, guys, so we're all agreed that the, you guys are going to lose, but you're going to do your damn best. Please tick to the rules. One F-35 each and then go to F-16s. Um, in terms of have I done this before, Valued Viewers, have I run this through? No, it's too big and I can't even run it on my computer without it crashing. So I have literally no idea what's going to happen, but it should, by all intents and purposes, be roughly realistic. Welcome in. We're in the actual simulation now. It's loaded and it hasn't crashed. Uh, there is some missing terrain line here, but just ignore it. Press we are good to go. Press the unpause button. There it is, it's going, it's going 400 miles away, all kind of deaths coming towards you. I've got a cheat screen valid view so I can see everything, obviously, because it'd be weird if I didn't. Right, let's go and have a look at the Americans first, my boys. Strider out first. F-15's moving, it's going to be jerky, it's going to be janky. You've got well over 100 modern planes with radars and stuff. First AI is going out. Oh, my wheel brakes I would work. say take, take the taxiway, just take off on the taxiway. Yeah, trying not to up, up the runway. Trying not to upset the AI. They're basically massive snowflakes, the AI are, and get upset by everything. Uh, what happened? Uh, good Three. one. Get another <laughs> one. Get another one. Let's take off in seconds. We're about to viewers. I'll cut that error out of the video. Wouldn't want to damage the brand. Right, Strider's up. The rest of you hogs. Sweet, you've got mixed in with the AI. That's going to turn out well. It's going to take the taxiway. Guys, you've got the thrust from your one engine has nearly as much as the thrust from both of those Eagle engines. I don't know to show off, but... My rudder panels are insane. This is really twitchy. you got to get rolling first. F-35 have crashed? yet? Yeah. okay, he's back. Now the humans will take off in the taxiway, uh, but the AI won't, obviously. The AI will have to play it by the rules. What would they do in real life if it was a life or death situation? What would... Man from Kadena who contacted me, what would they do? Would they take off in the taxiway? I suppose you're not allowed to tell me, are you? I doubt it, because they're pretty fod in their jet engines. They do an elephant walk. An elephant they walk. want it to look good. Agree. Right. Anyway, that's that lot. Uh, these guys. Wow. Look at these guys all moving. Look. Kadena base. The other half is all moving. Look at that. Look at all those Americans. Handsome young Americans. Damn. They're actually genuinely impressive. There's about 30 F-15s all taxiing at the other base, guys. Very cool. Right. Let's go and have a look at the Chinese today. Slowly but surely making their way in. First, the hate 6 Jays. Look at that. It's dark over here, guys. Because the sun rises in the east, it's still dark over here. 
Huh. You're burning all the way, and what's the bearing? Uh, uh, go west. <laughs> go west. Life is peaceful there. Make your decisions. Do you want to go straight into them? Do you want to hook into them? You've only got one life. You know, make it count. Use brain. I know Grim Reapers are not known for using brain, but just saying. J10A. Brain. If I only had a brain. <laughs> I'm a secret lover of this plane. I just think it's a cool little plane. Based on the Israeli Riva or something. I've forgotten now. J11 Bravos. Obviously based on the flanker. Variant. As a lot of the Chinese planes were for quite a few years. Just along. So these are air-to-air -air superiority fighters. Uh, we've got the J-16 more modernised. Uh, based on the Su-30. Oh, they're burning. How about that? Okay, one error already. The J-16s are burning. They're not going to make it. They're going to run out of fuel. I'm sure I tested that. That's awfully frustrating. So they've decided to burn, but they are going to run out of fuel. I can guarantee it. They probably picked this up as contacts. No, I'm sure they won't have picked you up yet, guys. I'm sure they won't have picked you up yet. I did test the, the radar ranges and everything worked as per... Uh, oh, maybe. We, we, things have happened quick. We're down to 300 miles, guys. Well, that happened quick. Uh, we've got the Mighty Dragons, which I can see, but the boys can't, obviously. Tell me that's not a scary sight. That time you really want some raptors on your side. And we've got the AWACS. Don't make me look. I don't want to look. I wouldn't. Right. Distance between fronts is already 241 miles. I'm closing incredibly quickly. I still don't think they've seen you guys because they're still at the cruise setting that I set them to save fuel. You see how they're saving fuel at the moment? Altitude and speed. Once they actually see these guys, they'll go nuts. Oh, here's why. Because the AWACSes are quite far behind. Uh, suck it up. They're slow. Not much I can do about it. Can any of us see any reds on the F10 map, which is your SA page, by the way? No, you can't. Right. Yes, sir. Oh, you can? Right? No. Oh, right. Not okay. yet. Okay, that's because this AWACS here can't see these guys yet. They are 300 miles. They're sort of getting in range where you're going to be detecting them soon. Good news. F15s are now pouring out at a rate of knots. 396 knots, to be exact. Godspeed, boys. Godspeed. Again, these, uh, these can't see anyone yet. Picking up unidentified returns. Right. Ooh. RWR. Missiles. Yeah. Uh, cruise missiles are now being dropped. It's up to you guys whether you're going to intercept the planes or the missiles. That is a USAF uh, high-level problem, I'm afraid. These valley viewers, relatively modern cruise missiles. Cruise 300 plus miles. Exactly what they're doing today with a big 1,000 pound warhead, which will smash a runway to pieces, unfortunately. Okay, that is 58 KD-20s in the air now. Oof. There's no still nothing on F-10. Yep, no sign the Reds have actually seen you guys yet because they're still in cruise. Unknown radar. Around 300. Oh, and it's really... For some reason, the AWACS just haven't seen them yet. This is all live. There's nothing weird or going on. It's just how At it is. At this range, I'm, I'm staying nose cold, so I don't want them to yep. know I'm coming. Okay, let's see what these F-15 is doing. They're forming up. See, I've asked them to. Well, hopefully, they are forming up into their flights before they just charge in. So they'll form up around here, and then they'll all go in together. It's obviously a more efficient way of doing it. This is what uh, this is, is what I envisage the war game series of. By the way, valid viewers, I know we've been doing some weird ones with Ukraine against Russia a lot, but because. That's what people have been asking for, but this is what Let's I envisage it. it for. Full coalition warfare. Uh, Strider, what's up? Radar return on a U. Oof. Hit. Right. They can see each other. The massive AESA radar in this F-35 here can see these J-10As, which are not stealthy in, in the slightest. They're like three meters squared radar cross section, which is big, by the way. I think it's both AWAC see me now. Let me check what they're you doing. You can see them at least. Okay. They're still... The Chinese are still in cruise, I can tell you that. Distance between fronts is now 193 nautical miles. No, the AWACSs can't see you yet. You're just, you're, you're picking up that they're radiating, but right. they're not. Yeah, yeah that's your you. RWR. Right, so obviously all of the F-35s are up. There's probably about 15 F-15s up now. So I reckon all of these are going to get scrambled before, and that was half the battle, getting the F-15s scrambled before the Chinese. I should say, by the way, um... How did we know that the Chinese were coming to scramble? It's because the AWACS should be able to see bombers at 400 miles, and that's when I started the map. So I said that's what would have set the alarm off. Oh, it's a lovely sky out there, guys. It really is. And we got the man in the moon. The Houston, there's a hole in my plane. 
You've got the man on the. You've got a man on the moon. Uh, Would you believe? Wherever you are. Yeah. yeah. Can't uh, Aha! The F-15s have seen. Miles. The F-16s have seen something. Sorry, the F-15s are going into burner. That means that AWACS has seen the Chinese and the Chinese are relayed. And, and, God, and the AWACS has relayed that back to the F-15s. I told you I was in a struggle today. So it's on. The Americans see the fight and they're now going for it. Now, what about the Chinese? Let's go and have a look at them. Yes, they're burning as well. Here it is. Here it is. Guys. Yep, radar contact. 160 miles to 300 from fire distance. Fight's on and the J-11s are going tactical. Fire down. Are you going after uh, AWACS? Contact heading... 288 for 140 nautical miles. If you shoot the AWACS down, it will have massive real world effect in this, by the way. They're appearing got, half a second on that. I've got J11s on my nose, looks like. If I were Gordon. you guys, whichever ones of you were going to attack the fighters, I would suggest putting long bomb missiles out and then RT being for more missiles rather than charging into ACM and just getting smashed. They are stacked between Angels 27 and Angels 31 right now. Front lines are 120 nautical miles apart. Oof. If I'd left uh, long-range missiles, then they'd be firing very shortly, but I didn't, obviously. Highest bandits are cresting Angels 36. Simba's at the vanguard like Simba always is. Jesus, are you high enough, Simba? Wow. That no. is a fast jet. Simba to space! He is burning off his self-coating at that speed. Right. What about the Seattle planes? They're still in cruise. Yeah, the Seattle planes... Are... No, then. No, yes. No, I don't know, actually. They're just doing a thing. How are the Mighty Dragons? The Mighty Dragons are still in cruise. Let me check. I've set them up right. I have. They just haven't seen any baddies yet or have decided not to engage any baddies yet. Tact, uh, 295 for 160. How many Americans are now airborne? I'm going to guess 25. Probably half of the two squadrons are now airborne. Look, you can tell they're panicking now because the guys are just going off on their own they're like i can't wait to form up i've got to go i've got to save like an hour brave brave men brave men and women i suppose uh right the front's now 80 miles expect to see uh, amrams and st10s and pl12s worryingly shortly advise they are starting to turn on jammers uh oh yeah right I control got right shift hotel helps people use your jammers guys use them they're there so use them all of these aircraft you say see today are missiles out Equipped with self protection jammers and they're modeled to at least to an extent. Simba's got his first missiles out. Boof, boof. Amrams. I don't even have any black on my radar screen. It is just all freaking contacts. Uh, yeah. Welcome to China, I guess. Okay, Simba's got his first missiles. I doubt it'll kill anything, but what it might do is scare them, slow them down. Yeah, more... can you get a kill with a C at 180 uh, miles? The more. If not, the more you slow them down, guys, the more F 15s you'll get airborne. Which is probably the most useful thing you can do at the moment, uh, realistically. It's gone, wow, it's gone up to 90,000 feet. If we're so high up, it might be able to get a good range out of it. I'm so high. Simba's cranking left to support the missiles. I was going to shoot down a plane, but then I got high. Those missiles are doing worryingly well, actually. <laughs> They're 2,000 knots. They haven't even started slowing down. They're 2,000 knots moly. halfway. Just like Simba knew what he was doing. Shows what you can get out of a uh, AIM-120C. These are old. These are, well... Not old, old, but like 15 year old missiles, maybe a bit older, and 20 year old missiles. Uh, I got contacts just above the sea level at heading 270. Following your missile, Simba. They Large are, formation. They are aim 54 in their way onto Chinese faces. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, look at that. Look at the closing speed. Yeah, you got one, Simba. You got one. Well done. First blood. Two Chinese down. Simba knows what he's doing. Get the heck out of there. Did not see that coming, guys. Fired at box three times for RTB. Wow. Buddy viewers are asking how fast the missiles are. They are 450 knots. They are subsonic. They're there to save fuel. Fire dad, good missiles. Support them and then get the chuff out of there, I would suggest. First F-15s are coming in now. Oh, look at this. Poor old Chinese. Third, box three times two. I should say the Americans have no... But obviously... Oh, sorry, I was about to say the Americans have no advantage. Obviously they do, they've got stealth planes. Um, so this is a completely unfair fight because this, that's stealthy and that's not. But that's life, I'm afraid. Okay, they're all gone pit bull, I think. Fire, good shooting. I may have turned cold too soon. I may not have supported them enough. Maybe, maybe. It's a good idea to keep the airframe uh, alive, though. 
Well, what about get back and get more? Yeah, I'll burn it back to get more. Man, they're coming at you real fast now. This guy's nearly 900 knots out of a flanker. They want your blood. And they're all set to max skill level as well, the latest AI from... Yep, I didn't support them enough. Never mind. No, it. Never mind. Bird's put his uh, out. Bird, you can support them for a long time. They can't shoot yep. you unless you're within 10 miles, basically. They just, they just can't see you. Slightly worrying. They are catching Simba up. Yeah, I just hope they don't chase oh, Simba. This guy's a thousand knots. God, that's fast. What is doing going down there? It's going to end up running out of gas if he's going to burn all I the think, way to me. I think he's just running out of gas, you know. He's diving. I don't know why he's doing it, but... Oh my god, look at that valley viewers. What a nightmare for the Americans. They are now 150 miles from uh, Okinawa. But these are the firing rings of the Patriots. F 15 is about to be in combat, by the way. This is going to be ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, brave F 15s. Absolutely balls to the wall. Distance is 40 miles. When do they fire? It's up to them. They've probably got the range, I would expect. Not sure who my missiles are tracking, but they're turning. Roger, they are fighting someone. Oh, PL-12's out from the first J-11. They're firing before the F-15s. Why is that? Don't know. Probably they're going faster. Ooh, 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 any American... I just, met the I just went past my first wave of F-15s. America just spammed all of the friggin' Amrams out. Man, that's exciting. Ah, oh, look at this combat. Oof, oof, oof. Missiles are out from everyone now. Fight's on. SC-10 going for the first American. What can he do? Notch that. Notch it. Notch it. He's notching the little radar that's in the front of that missile there. And he's... The unfortunate thing is, it's a very notch-resistant missile. He's done it. He's beaten it. Well done, American. Now, let's return the favour. You, sir, prepare to get sucker fish. Woo! J-11 Bravo down. Amram, superior missile. Even though it's not made in Britain. Okay, here we go. The flankers are struggling to do to notch. All right, RGB. Look at that weird maneuver he's doing. Oh, good maneuver, Mr. China. Well done. No Americans down. Lots of Chinese. Well, I don't know about lots, but some Chinese down. Wait, Stop. I'm showing that whole line of F-15s that I went past are all gone. 100% not. No American okay. has been shot down yet. I would have it logged. Party missile out. Roger Scott. Eight more Americans firing. These Americans are missile. I'm yep. I'm tracking three J-11 killed by F-15s. I would agree with that so far. Well done. Good notching from a Chinaman there. Uh oh, Scott's man is toast. Well done, Scott. J-10 down. Thank you. Get out of there. You'll get overwhelmed and you'll get found. And that's an expensive airframe. They already have a missile out of Yes, me. they do. You've, your stealth has dodged it, but your luck won't last much longer. It's not much. I have to really pretty much use map view valid viewers because there's so much going on and it's so tactical. Is our airbase still available to land? Yes, it is. Just try not to gum it up. F-15. We might have our first American down. He's going crazy, Ivan. Oh, he's blown up with a weird lag, but lag lives matter. First American down today. Huge exchange volley of fire. Good notching. Wish I had a kill count to see kind of who... Oops, spike. Yeah. Cam's plus one. Sure, look at that. Well done, Cam. Chinese notch. Things are getting a bit laggy. They will do, obviously. There's only so many processes a server can do. We do not have access to a NASA supercomputer. Look at that value to us. I can't warn him. It would be cheating if I warned him, but oof. That's problematic. Fire net's going to be back. You're not going to make it back with fuel. Second American down. Third American down. Okay, that, the merge is on now. They're all going down. Good Get high and sip on it. Man. I got 200 pounds last I'm done. How did you burn so much already? I dropped low. I was watching F10. Stupid me. I'm right. like uh, over half a tank me. left. Uh, this guy turning cold. Scott Murd, dogfight. Whether you like it or not. Shit. Mark 2 dogfight. You've got the power and the speed on him. You can acceler out accelerate him. Plus, an F15 just saved your butt, Scott. Buy him a drink later. Oh, nice. Man, this is exciting. No idea what the scores are, Valley viewers. So one of you are keeping 
Score, I'm certainly not. Number American about to go down. I'm with J20. Still can't see it. Oh, it's J20. Someone's going for J20. Wow. Hey, well, AWAC, if you can see it, AWAX can see it. AWAX spotted it somehow. Go don't know. I can't see it. Right. And I can visually see it. I don't think he can of, see you. Fog of War, it's on. Yeah, Fog of War. So if. Oh, I don't know. Words, reasons. Something about something about something. Well, I see their AWAX now on Fog of War. Oh, jeez. American down. down. What a massive war of attrition we've got going on here. Have you ever seen something so sexy, valued viewers? Well, from the looks of it, with from all the F eighteen, F fifteens coming out, we might actually stand a chance. You're, but you're killing them at a better rate than they're killing you. At least you've got that on your side. But once those cruise missiles come out, then that's going to be the game changer. Yeah. Shit. Okay, Americans are really starting to drop the ball now. They started off super strong. Strider merge. Two missiles out. He merged with the jet Mighty Dragon. Wow, gotta watch yeah, that. Um, Mighty Dragon fight! Yeah, he killed a Mighty Dragon with a... What did you fire at him? 20, 120. Fair play. Chinese stealth, not as good as American stealth. I'm probably gonna get demonetized for that, but... Well, he shot a missile at me. Just happened that. Happened. Oh, really? Wow. That, I've seen it, it's gone right past you. You stealth fooled it. Strider's gone and Strider's homing in on an AWAX. That, sir, is what gets you a medal. Uh-oh. 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 Fire dead's out of fuel, Balin. No, that was me. Cam. It's friendly fire, wasn't it? Yeah, It's gonna Cam happen, boys. It's, un it. it's unfortunate, but suck it up, get an F-16. There will be friendly fire today. These are Fox 3 missiles. We're launching at each other. In life and death situations. Stakes will happen, inevitably. It's all merged into one giant cluster fox truck, just as it would in real life. Uh oh, uh oh. There's an F 35 finally about to lose an F knife fight. I don't know. Oh, too many things to watch, Valley Humanoids. Oh, look there, that's the stealth doing its job. You see that? That's the stealth doing its job. I guess I would have tracked a normal F 15. I think the Americans are. The Americans are winning this. The American, not this is all equal. You saw me set it up, Valley viewers. There's no cheating going on here. The Americans are winning fairly and squarely. They're just fighting better. Simple as that. They're fighting cleverer. Caesar is going to be busy for days. There will be a lot of Caesar going on here. I mean, the Americans are getting worn down, but there are more air-to-air -air American fighters than there are Chinese now. That's absolutely, I'm certain of it. Pretty confident that uh, Simba's uh, tequila is having some effect. Yep. Is he even conscious still? Yep. Just took the worm. What does taking the worm mean? Yeah, the taking worm. the worm. Taking the worm. <laughs> right, okay, fine. Mezcal. You, you do know about the worm, don't you, Cap? Obviously, I don't know what about the worm, because I've no idea what Americans talk about. All Everyone's the heard about the bird, but not everyone talks yes. about the worm. Yes, <laughs> the bird, yes. Guys, uh, in some in F mezcal tequila, there's a uh, worm inside the bottle that they drown, and uh, oh. if you eat it, how about that? I don't gives you tequila. ten plus HP points. I'm not manly enough for tequila. That's just a true fact. Okay, guys. Okay, you guys, and now click these F-15 pilots. He just spam rammed four spam rams into those sea planes. That sir is good training. I couldn't do that under pressure. Could you? I doubt it. Doubt under it. pressure. Bum bada bum bum. Uh oh, F-15s. Base. Kind of still too much to watch, valued viewers, to really you got go. a GCI. Look at that guy, he's just pummeled out all the missiles. Good lord. I can't cheat because I can see everything, but got GCI. amazing dodging. He gets a purple heart, or whatever the hell, Medal of Honor, whatever you guys call them. ACL. Oh, he did his due diligence and he got killed. Well done. I will write to your wife, slash, visit your wife. What kind of visit? Um, no comment. The best type. That's a mighty dragon! Oh, mighty dragons merged with F-15s! Oof. Uh-oh, things happening. Go on, Strider! Go on, Strider! Shoot him! Shoot him! That's a half billion dollar asset! Noodle him! That's worth, like, six F-35s. Right, now get the chuff out of there! AWAX, one AWAX down! Well done. Trying to be not happy with Strider, and that is just good, skillful... Uh-oh. And a blackout. There may be something even worse happening than the blackout to you, Mr. Strider. There may be something even worse coming towards you. There's a J20 just yep. wreaking havoc. There's a mighty dragon just smashing those F-15s to pieces. 
Strider finally bit the bullet. He found you. A J20. I couldn't tell you. He was chasing you for about 50 miles, that J20. And just smashing, smashing you to pieces. Well done, guys. That's satisfying. Yeah, my point. Right, I can finally look over here. Oh no, it's changed so quickly. The mighty dragon came in and smashed all the Americans down. And now the Chinese are winning. The two mighty dragons, dragon said it, look. The two mighty dragons. You've got to find a way of killing those mighty dragons, guys. Oof, there's one F-15 left. One F-15 left. What? You could not script this shit, guys. This, I love it when it works like this. Really makes my pee, -pee go a little bit harder than normal. But not fully hard. That is all. Got a kill, does he? Yep. Big small chub. Yes. That's it, 15 for you. God damn it, the 50 year old oh. planes, but look what they can do. It, it, it looked like it hit him, but then it, it didn't go down that Yeah, That is uh, a slightly Tanks. off. I would call that an off damage model. If I, if I were to call it anything. They're not taking a hit. Yes, they are taking a hit. He's dead. Man. Bernardino, be advised, I will be not far behind you on final. Yes, the oh, sea ads turned like around. The sea ads. Guys, the sea ads turned around and gone home. Well done. Wow. Yep. No joke. They've dumped their stores and they have run away. Are you going straight in, Simba? Uh. Uh oh. Yes. Oh, the KD 20s are now uh -oh. showing up. On, uh, they will do. Don't worry, guys. Uh oh. Mighty dragons have met the last heroic oh, 15. We, we oh. have cruise missiles out. They're miles away yet. Don't worry about the cruise missiles yet, guys. You've got hundreds of miles to go. Find those mighty dragons. You've got to find them somehow. Yes, I'm aware it's very hard. There's also a you problem. Right, Silverback, you're up against two mighty dragons and they're coming towards you, FYI. Oh, lovely. Mm. And they are absolutely insatiable. They're driven by generic bad guy from Top Gun 1 and Top Gun 2 movie. You know that guy? I hate oh, that guy. Nice. Uh, that dude, I know that name. So, but mm -hmm. going for the right wrong way. Isn't that guy played by henchman number one and henchman number two? Yep. I love henchman lives matter, guys, and you know that. So, valid viewers, so far, all 44 scramble ready F 15 C's and D's, well, just C's actually, have been smashed from Okinawa. But they defended their soil. They, they, they turned the SEAD back and they destroyed everything apart from the two, not invincible, but invisible J 20s who just came in and just smashed them to pieces, obviously, as kind of you'd expect in real life. But crucially, the KD 20s aren't down. So, what the boys have got to do now is get back, they've got to get missiles, and they've got to come and A, kill the J 20s who are going to protect these missiles and kill these missiles. Because I can guarantee no you know, Patriots are good, but they aren't taking out 48 time and target missiles. <gasps> and breathe. How super yeah. exciting. Don't forget, our F 16s are still 400 nautical miles away. We are yep. not making it. Uh, 40, 45,000 feet. Keep your bags on until... Actually, I've got no useful advice. Just do a thing. Just do a thing, guys. Yeah, start Never. drinking a shot. Man, that's a sexy plane. Their missiles are 100 miles away, guys. 100 miles away at 450 knots. If anyone can do that math, I think that means... we we'll just take the taxiway, so don't worry, oh, Four and a half minutes? No, 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 it's more than that. It's about... I think it's about a quarter of an hour, about 13 minutes. Here come the F-16s from... Uh, Japan, here's the thing. Japan mainland is bristling with uh, USAF and Marine and USN aircraft, but they're so far away and it takes them so long to get here. Another thing, Valley Viewers, when I was researching this, Japan is defended by um, Aegis uh, Ali Burks with SM-3A missiles. That's, that's the main defense for Japan is, uh, from what I read, American destroyers sitting in Japanese ports using their SM-3As to protect it from ballistic missiles and stuff like that. Um, that's one way to do a, a Aegis Ashore. <laughs> yeah, but not in Okinawa. That's only in Japan mainland. Okinawa it, has its Patriot sites. They're down there in Okuska. Okay, I do have some bad news. The SEAD has regrouped and they are now coming again, but they dropped all their missiles. They're coming and attacking without any SEAD missiles. So it looks like they're going to gun the Patriots. Good luck with that, mate. <gasps> yeah, Mighty Dragons have run out of fuel. Mighty Dragons right, burnt and they've run out of fuel. Can they they could have catch me. these missiles. Airborne. You no longer have any air-to-air -air fighters to worry about. They're going back Got home. Final. All three AWACSs are up, as you can see. Mega coverage. I was hoping that the J-20s would actually go around and smack them, but oh, crap. you can't force them to if they're AI. They just won't listen. What but, levels the, do we know what level the missiles are at? Uh, they'll be on the deck. Check. Order yeah. or 250 feet. I'm coming in at 31. I'm, I'm the only one around. Already know I got yeah. radar contacts at heading 275 for just outside of 80 nautical miles. Wow, F-16s are still 350 miles Got away. Him. Valley viewers are saying um, refuelers would be set up, uh, air-to-air -air refuelers, they would. Uh, there's a bunch of air-to-air -air refuelers at this base here, Kadena. Uh, but 
Honestly, I didn't think the Americans would still be alive. I thought they would have been atomized by now, so I didn't even think about this stage. How dare we doubt ourselves? Mm -hmm. I don't think Cap was, uh, you know, doubting the Americans. I think he was doubting GR. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, even that. not even that. I set the Chinese attack up to not wanted them to win, but, you know, I tried to make them win because that's how a game master should, should play. But sometimes it just doesn't go your way. You rolled that d20 dice and I you did. got a 1. I rolled a d20 dice, that's how it goes. You could run the same thing again and maybe the bridge would win next time, who knows. Hopefully my emailer who emailed me is happy so far that he can defend from the Chinese. Does the uh, aircraft actually have anything deadly? Um, but, uh, I'm looking now, actually some of them do have their sea out. They have close range missiles only, Sidewinder equivalent missiles only. Uh, some of them do, uh, do I have, have anybody them. trying to get home at, in the 30,000 Angels? 30 that's me, range? Yeah. it's over. Wow, how could you see him at 16 miles? That is a good radar. It's not actually an AESA radar in game, but what they've done is they've made it a mechanical radar, but buffed its properties up to make it seem a bit like an AESA radar. It's the best right, they can one do. Fox three, let's see if it works. Why? 26 miles. Simba, four, 40 miles, 300. Amram. Oh, look at the missiles. I see them. Oh, they're easy to visualize. They've got massive uh, fuel trails, not fuel trails, you know what I mean, burn trails. You will see them relatively easy. Right, we're about to kill one missile. That is one down, 47 to go. Damn, Amrams are good. Shears. One down, three down. He's going to try and gun him. 45 left. Yep, absolutely. Gun him, guys. 45 left. 44 left. 43 left. You're cunning. I'm an RTB. 43 left, guys. And birds in formation. Do a good thing. Got a relatively decent cannon in that. You should do okay with it. Man, I wish those F-16s were up closer. Under 300 miles, but... Oops. I'm getting ready to drop my tanks, too, so... I'm trying to maintain about Mach 1.2, 1.3, but... I mean, they've got yeah, Ospreys. They've got Ospreys at Okinawa, but Ospreys don't have any offensive capabilities, do they? No. They could kind of, like, fly in formation with them and maybe wingtip them. Close your rate, close your rate, close your rate, close your rate. Got it! Way! 40... Two, I think. It's five down, or six down. Yeah, we six, should six down. start getting into the range of the uh, Patriots here soon. Negative. Missile away. Line of, sight. By something. Line of sight, they're at 200 feet, and they can't accept AWACS uh, intel. Oh, intel. that's right, they can't. So it'll be 10 miles. Right, careful, Bert. There is a... Uh, uh, these missiles are coming right into you, and I'm a bit worried. Simba, you're almost about ready to fly formation with those J-16s. Oh, Patriots are out on the J-16s. Hang on, there's too much going on here. Uh... Bird evasive question mark. Oh, fuck's sake, friendly fire. Ah, oh, shit, sorry, man. All right, make up for it, kill a lot of missiles, Scott. Simba, look down. Do a rollover and look down. Simba is very, very drunk. Made them go evasive. Okay, yeah, he's yes, upset. did. He's upset. Well, oh, that, that there's uh, Patriots inbound, too. Oof. Okinawa is defending itself, baby. I do love how they plant US Army all over the front of those missiles. Mm -hmm. That's Sorry, right. Missiles. They are is actually a US Army battalion. First Army battalion or something. I read on the internet and the internet never lies. Okay. Oh, Simba. What happened? Wow, thanks, guys. You got, you got dieted with that PL-10. Oh, it happens. Simba, you're an F-16. Oh, Suck it up. Headed home. Well... Patriots have all died because the, they've bugged them going, uh, looks like they may be going home. It's uh, easy to see them because they've got this nice uh, smoke trail. Exactly. F-16 Make sure your radar is up to the sea level and up. F-16 is 250 miles, yo. 42 missiles mm. left. Silverback, that may be the wrong base. 20 miles. Uh, yeah, I'm on fumes. Doesn't matter. Go to any base. Uh, I know it's a bit stupid, but that's how I set it up. Yeah, I'm uh, doing it external view, remember? Patriots are now right. firing at yeah. the um, yeah. missiles. Patriots are now firing. Oh. A question mark? They're blowing their own missiles up. God, Nami, US Army. Who called the army in? <laughs> Good save, Silver. You might have lost a bit of stealth coating on the bottom, but yeah, you got the gear down. <laughs> I was close. Still running from the Patriot side now. Oof, here they come. Here they freaking come, boys. I can actually see the bad guys on my uh, HSD at nice. 240 miles. That's impressive. Come on, Patriot. Come on, Patriot. It's 
Gotta just get that pepper on it and spam it, what I found. Yeah, I'm already at ammo. Oh. oh. Okay. I'm trying to Fox 4. Yeah, Fox 4, that son of a beat. Fly back. Get another plane. Okay, Patriot yep. Site 1 is out of ammo. No, it's not. It's got one more round. But it's pretty much out of ammo. Oh, there it goes. Scratch it. There they go. There they go. Uh, you're actually making a good viewing platform there. Uh, wherever you are, Scott. You've got camera work. Wow. One down. I guess about 30... High 30s left. Oh! Jesus Christ. That one almost hit Scott. Patriots going ape shit. Yeah, they're getting hit. Oh, we're not high enough, oh, right? It's out of, it's it's out of ammo, isn't it? It's a realistic size, medium sized battery, valid viewers. That is how many they would have. They it's do. about to get yeah, very uncomfortable crazy. at the airfield. There's two left, actually. There's still, but most are gone. But there are three batteries left, just like in real life. <laughs> Get that F-35 airborne so we're back so we can at least save that plane. Yep. Oh yeah, don't want to be down there when they start hitting. Two of them have gone rogue. Look, two of them have gone south and gone rogue. Elon Musk! Oh, they're starting to pop up. Here they go. Here they go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Superbats coming in for one last hit. Fire everything! Doesn't even matter if you team kill now. Just, yes, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, good hit. Another one down. It saves more American lives. Here they come. They've made it through. Right, now watch the other batteries, guys. Watch the other batteries. Yes, the other batteries are firing. Damn, it just missed. Look at those rear batteries. Time. They're firing. Doesn't have time. Does. They can still defend it. Both batteries are firing. Oh, he got it. Well done. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, first hit on Kadena. Second, third, fourth, fifth hit on Kadena. Thousand pound warheads. Six hits, seven hits on Kadena. Eight, nine. Ten. Every time to come down for a landing on Kadena. Um, Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. I make yeah. fifteen. Not bad, guys. Forty-eight missiles and fifteen got through the defense network. Sixteen. Look at all those smoke trails from those Patriots. That is pretty much, in theory, value viewed. What should bloody will happen? Which I think is exciting. Uh, when I was researching this, a lot of people said, eh, they've got lasers, special lasers to shoot missiles down. I don't know if that's true, but I don't Scotty, have lasers in yeah. game. So um, there's not much I can do about special lasers. Uh, but it's still a wrecked airfield. But let's hang on. Let's try and debrief that, guys. Scotty landing. Did you survive, Scott? He's, he's trying to. Come on, Scott. Now, here's one thing, valued viewers. The craters are bugged in game, so the craters don't work. In real life, those runways will be chewed up, obviously. But there's, you know, there's t they have tiny little 50 pound craters because, you know what, I just don't care. I just very much dislike the guys who make this game. I'm not even going to complain anymore. But, oh, oh, the damage still works. Look, it actually took, look. It smashed the gear of that $100 million jet. <laughs> yeah, but still survived. Can it be open, Scott? The only survivor apart from the F 16 today. Let's see how far the F-16s were. You DCI'd me in. I'm 150 uh, miles from the nearest bad guy aircraft. 180 miles. Yeah, nearly made it in. Worryingly, the mighty dragons are coming in now. Um, I can actually see them on my radar. Huh, how about that? Maybe they've damaged their stealth coating. Oh, I can see why. Because they've got one of their uh, flight surfaces is broken. So it's making it non-stealthy. Ah, ah. Stupid. I need to start debriefing because uh, it's getting very late in my hometown. Where's this it's guy? It's waving at you. <laughs> I don't know where this guy's going. 15 missiles got through and smashed Kadena. However, 15 out of 48 for the Americans, that's not too bad, I would say. Almost all of the Chinese were shot down. Three Mighty Dragons survived, and realistically, they would turn around and go home now, obviously. So, And three SEAD survived, and they would obviously go home as well. One AWACS survived, and one didn't. So I'd say 90% of the Chinese attack was destroyed by a really good American flying today. Americans, both squadrons of F-15s just charged in like they... You know, like their, their job is, and they died to pay the price. 
but they shot down a lot of Chinese. They shot down more Chinese than themselves died. That's pretty good. The F-35s, bearing in mind half my guys are drunk today, and the ones that aren't drunk are, well, hopeless. But you guys did really well. I'm trapped with all of my F-35 drivers today, especially Strider, man of the match, medal of honor, whatever, uh, for shooting down their AWACS. And a J-20. Yeah. F-16s came here but never made it in, as they wouldn't make it in real life. You know, unless they can go Mac 5, you're not getting here. Simple as that. Who won today? Nope. Yes, Simba? No kudos for a 70-mile shot in the 35? You've got the kudos, but you just don't get the Medal of Honor, Simba. It was a very good shot, I'll give you that. It was actually a twin shot. You killed two guys at 88 miles, I think it was. That's pretty... I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that before, so well done. You um, get to eat the worm, Simba. Yep, you get to eat the worm. A silver. These, guys, these J16s yep. are so Aww. deadly. They're so, honestly, they just keep shooting us down. Anyway, uh, we'll discount that. We've got to try and work out who won guys here. I mean, I don't think anyone won. They damaged the base a bit, but they lost a huge amount of stuff in the Americas. I think it's a massive war of attrition is what happened there. And both sides sort of won and both sides sort of lost. Agreed. Uh... I mean, because you're going to end up having the F-16s coming in from Okinawa arriving too late. However, they could um, potentially land at one of the other bases if it was uh, they survivable. They could. They could. They could partially up. They couldn't fully operate because their techs aren't there, but they could partially operate immediately from there from the other base that's not bombed and then within what two days they'd be fully operational because they would have shipped the stuff over uh so tactically probably a loss from the chinese but i don't know i'm sort of clutching at straws because my little brain can't really calculate it well, the well there is a cb people. there is a cb contingent stationed on okinawa so that runway is going to be repaired uh, in a couple days absolutely uh absolutely the right, runway yeah. will be operational in under 24 hours oh yeah or whatever but yeah i mean the aim was to i don't know what the aim was because i didn't do the role play here unless the chinese have a, a, a second strike inbound now yeah it's, right it's probably a loss for them there because they didn't fully i guess annihilate all the f-15s oh they did actually what am i saying roger i mean <laughs> they could have i mean i was suspecting rule of they would have a second wave of cruise missiles coming another 50 cruise missiles coming in to do more damage however by that time i wonder if the patriots could reload but then again, the Patriots can't defend themselves. They can't defend against 50. Oh, who knows? Endless conversation. Anyway, like I said, Valley Viewers, this is what war games are supposed to be about. Uh, I find it personally probably the most interesting thing on the internet. It's something I'm really into. Guys, excellent flying for a Friday night. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that, Valley Viewers. We'll see you later.